1v1 Zivar Frontier Blue side. Boba Fett plays an Inquisitor. Offensive commander fights many to start off. Can get range weapons. Not much direct support, but lots of crowd control. Look, Up against Mr. Rico on the red side as a war boss. Melee commander walks through cover, leaves the line from the front with support, damage, and disruption. Three VPs up for grabs as always, northeast to southwest. None of them natural in this huge line of points. Double shooters opening for Mr. Rico. Boba Fett going for a sentinel off the bat. Tier 1 vehicle can decap points but cannot cap them. Has a pretty useful ground pound stun ability. Good versus these sluggers. Usually used to keep melee units off your guards. And Boba Fett going for double sentinels here. No doubt. Might see triple or even quadruple shooters to try and shoot these guys down. They are vehicles, but they do not have vehicle armor as such. They use heavy infantry armor. Warboss really pissed off with this one going after it with his chain axe. Special attack will not help. Inquisitor making herself a nuisance in the northeast is going to cap this power. It is the second sentinel. Mr. Rico would have now spotted them both, so we'll see if he responds with more shooter boys. Warboss will be forced off here. Did do a decent amount of damage though to this Sentinel. Wonder if we'll see the enhanced custom shooter. Inquisitor hiding behind this rock. Can now tie up this shooter boy squad. They have their big shooters already. Here comes the Sentinel, can get a ground pound, fantastically done, stunning two squads there and knocking back of course. Inquisitor taking out a model, good destructive melee early on, not a huge amount of damage though. And is in trouble from these sluggers. And is forced to retreat sluggers, cheap and cheerful melee units can be very very dangerous in tier 2 though with their knob leader. And are forced off there by the double sentinels. Boba Fett lacking a bit of capping power here. Sentinels can decap points, but they won't be able to take them for you. So the guards are pretty much all they're doing right now is capping light infantry unit with ranged weapons, las guns. Another ground pound is the war boss though. He has big shooters of both squads, so we'll probably rely on that to try and take these sentinels down. This Sentinel is in trouble. Sentinels cannot retreat, of course. Warbot is going after it with his custom shooter and... Surely, Sentinel yes, destroyed. goes down. One Sentinel down and Katashan Devils on the way for Boba Fett. Shooters take the building, this very, very low health building. And Inquisitor should be forced off. There is Hammer of the Witches was stopped by the stomp and there's a special attack and the Inquisitor goes down to the so chain axe. Warboss doing quite well early on. He usually struggles versus the Inquisitor I think because of her Hammer of the Witches as well as Sentinel Ground Pound stunning him to hell. Kadishan Devils hitting the field versatile infantry unit for Imperial Guard. Good in melee, good ranged and good utility with grenade launchers and smoke grenades and the like. Usually see the demolition man almost immediately from them. Sentinel forcing off sluggers and guardsmen can cap the bottom 496, 421 VP lead for Boba Fett. Mr. Rico forcing a repurchase of the Inquisitor though and here's going to be a pretty big engagement. There is a reliable missing those shooter boys there. We have a knob leader so that shooter boy squad will be able to detect Kandashan Devil demolition charges if they put any down. They don't have a demo man yet. Here comes the Inquisitor. Very nice special attack and forces off this entire blob here. Very, very wary of those Kandashan Devils who are pretty nasty in the current meta. Inquisitor now capping mid. 485-421. And we'll get a 2-1 to one from this. Full power up from Mr. Rico. No sign of Boba Fett going after it. And two gens up for the Imperial Guard player. Target structure eliminated. Generator coming up. Sentinel could do with some repairs. Where are the guards when they are coming up? I have not even seen them in combat yet. They don't even have a sergeant. 
usually one of the first upgrades you see from an Imperial Guard player. Here come the Shooter Blob with their war boss. So Four eight five four zero four. Kadesh and there was now getting focus fired. Ouch! There was crippling volley into an all reliable grenade launcher. Nice combo from the Inquisitor. A range weapon of hers, adding to her crowd control. And Warboss gets away. Four eight five three eight eight. Some daylight between the VPs then. The There's the one to one of these sluggers capping, yes, usually used to cap in tier one and not much else. Getting on in the odd scuffle. Mr. Rico goes tier two first. In fact is halfway there before Boba Fett has started. And Boba chance. Fett is a little way off going tier two. We have a multi last turret going up from these guardsmen. They have their sergeant now, as you can see. Gives them nine members, allows them to reinforce two at a time. Here come the shooters. Mr. Rico. Is he going to go for a weird boy with only one buzzers for them to field? So Inquisitor goes down again. Here's the Sentinel Stomp. Nicely done. Forces off both those shoots, but they did take out that Inquisitor. As I was saying, will we see the weird boy? Would be useful, I suppose, against these very, very nasty Katashan Devils. We see Ard Boys on these sluggers. That's a global ability of the war boss. Forcing off Kadashan Devils, wow. War truck on the way for Mr. Rico. 2 to 1 still for Boba Fett. Mr. Rico needs to get his capping shoes on. Start getting some map control here. Has even lost his wreck point. Sluggers are bashing power. Don't have their burners, but they are getting a knob leader in time for this scuffle with Kadashan Devils. Mr. Rico pulls them off. Ouch, there's the grenade launcher absolutely giving a slugger model. But they now have their knob leader and force the Catastrophe Devils off. There you saw Swamp and boosting their speed, breaking suppression and giving them 50% range damage reduction. I don't know if it does improve their speed. I might have made that up. The slugger knob himself improves the speed of the squad permanently though. Here is the war truck, support vehicle for orcs. Allows you to reinforce and transport four, I think, squads. Very, very weak though, but it is very, very cheap. There's crippling volley on these shooter boys. They're trying to get into the war truck and do eventually get in. Sluggers in retreat. Kadastan Devils shotgun in the back of that war truck. They can get a Sarge in tier two, which gives them a melter gun. Making them even more versatile. War boss caps mid. No war gift for this guy. There's not really much he can get, I suppose. Maybe angry bits to try and get in amongst the Imperial Guard guardsmen, but they aren't much of a threat at the moment. Double shooters. Ouch! That was a very nasty grenade launcher. Took out three or four models. They get back in the war truck and leave. Bane Wolf. It is a Bane Wolf. Unique vehicle for the Inquisitor. I don't see this thing around very often. Very, very nasty at taking out generators. And not bad versus infantry too. We see a weird boy on the field. Subcommander for Orcs. Very good at taking out and dealing with blobs of infantry. So usually a very good choice versus Imperial Guard. Boba Fett though only has two infantry squads on the field. And it's Bane Wolf, as you can see, doing a lot of damage to that weird boy. Weird boy's artillery attack does do decent damage to the vehicles. Shooters getting out of the war truck. Don't have much members though. Can they take the Inquisitor out again? They can. Inquisitor has her Inferno pistol, but was taken out. War truck surely will go down though. Last guns on the rear armor. Can they do it? 3, 2, 1, health and it goes down out of control will crash into the pillar and the shooter boys really need to run away wow just about get away 447324 Mr. Rico struggling to put model loss pressure on Boba Fett Kadashan Devils on capping duty Bane Wolf needs to get the hell out of there. Weird Boy taking it down to 160 hit points. Might see some tank busters to try and deal with this thing. Or, of course, the power claw for the war boss. 
now in melee with a sentinel you see judgment go down on those sluggers and they quickly retreat because of that wow bane wolf almost taken out by the weird boy there might not even need tank busters guardsmen now on repair duty and they do repair very quickly sentinel still alive for boba fett has it leveled it has leveled might want to start investing in this thing give it the missile launcher frag grenades will do nicely versus that shooter boy blob for 11 3 2 4 mr rico now has the two to one sluggers still have judgment down on them 4 0 2 3 2 4 sentinel gets away yes these generators not lasted long versus double shooters and that weird boy attack. Ouch, another very nasty grenade launcher. And the Bane Wolf being used to snare them. I can't remember what that ability is called. But as you can see, leaves a bunch of green gunk. Much like the bilious discharge of the Plague, Mar Plague Champion, sorry, Bile Spewer. 3 4, 3 2 4. Tank Busters are on the field dedicated anti-vehicle unit for orcs though their rocket barrage is decent versus all targets sluggers not back can they get in there losing tons of health might lose this squad Kardashian devil is trying to get into melee range and down the sluggers go I think the inferno pistol finished them off tank busters pulling back Mr. Rico very late to get those sluggers out of there Boba Fett now getting some stormtroopers Mr. Rico going tier 3. Sentinel decapping stuff and being annoying. Only one generator up for Boba Fett. And one a generator up for Mr. Rico. Kadashan Devils have used that grenade launcher very, very well. Mr. Rico has really struggled to deal with those guys. Bane Wolf now back up to full health, but not for long. Here come the rockets and weird boy attacks. That blob is now snared and has to back off. Really nice idea to get this Bane Wolf out I think by Boba Fett. Sentinel has finished decapping stuff. Mr. Rico still yet to take this wreck point back. Looks like he's going to now maybe. No. Stormtroopers now on the field for Boba Fett and they get their assault kit. Overcharged hotshot las guns are no joke. Almost took the weird boy out, these Kadashan Devils. Have they leveled? They are level 2. And they have their Sarge and Demolition Man now. And if they stop being stunned, they can cap the mid. Warboss is not capping here. Misclick from Mr. Rico. Does happen occasionally. 383, 324. Come on, Big Flare. Need to cap. There we go. Here comes the Shooter Boy Blob. Ouch. Doing a very good job against these Kadashan Devils. That was the... Tank Buster Barrage, I think, doing most of that damage. Manticore coming up for Boba Fett. Here we see these Stormtroopers. Look at the range they have. Absolutely owning those shooters. Sentinel now back up to full health. Almost level 3. Still no upgrades for this guy. Shooters no match for these Stormtroopers at all. Judgment down on the weird boy. There goes his artillery attack out. Very nasty versus those stormtroopers. Tank busters getting shots off on the sentinel with a stormtroopers cap. I don't think so. Mr. Rico constantly on the back foot. Here comes that Bane Wolf, which has finished off that generator. Huge map control here for Boba Fett. Does not have the central VP though. 383313. He's locked in base here, Mr. Rico. And the weird boy taken out just as a looted tank hits the field. He'll want to take the Bane Wolf out with that straight away. Needs to chase it, really needs to chase it. Stormtroopers have their assault kit, they cannot change kits, so no melter guns for them. Do have a melter gun on those Katashan levels, of course. Still no war gear for the war boss. Looted tank chasing the Bane Wolf couple more shots and it'll go down. There's a Manticore strike though. 
largely dodged by Mr. Rico. Needs to be aggressive and take this Bane Wolf out. Garzman in retreat. Manticore pushed way up here. Heavy artillery unit. Huge range and damage potential. Here comes Heavy Weapon Squad for Boba Fett. Looted tank looking for that Bane Wolf, I think. Might just settle for taking out this Sentinel. Yeah, it's going to go down. There goes the Sentinel now. Can he take this Bane Wolf out? Here comes a bunch of stuff. Maybe another Manticore strike for time force this looted tank off. Ouch, that Inferno pistol doing tons of damage to the rear armor of this looted tank. Might go down, there's a Manticore strike. But misses completely and a looted tank gets away. Does he have sluggers? He does not have sluggers. There's no way to repair that tank now. Big Stormtroopers lose two models. Do force off the shooter boys though again. There's the rocket barrage, misses the Bane Wolf. Perhaps should have got a commando squad instead of a looted tank, and then the claw on his warboss to try and deal with that Bane Wolf. As it stands, the warboss has done very little since tier 2. 356, 291, a 2 to 1 for Mr. Rico. Might see a triple though from Boba Fett, he's capping mid and the northeast. Mr. Rico has no doesn't quite have enough for a rocks as you can see a counter going up orcs continuously get more red resource here comes the double shooters again haven't really been able to be terribly effective especially since these stormtroopers hit the field just outranging them last cannon on the field now for Boba Fett to deal with that tank no doubt which has been repaired by sluggers who have a knob leader. Message received. 350 274. It's a two to one war boss has taken the southwest. Huge map control though for Boba Fett and I can't really see a way out of this for Mr. Rico. Really need to take that Bane Wolf out then. Slugger boy is getting oh, burners even. Gorgeous. Lots of resources invested into these guys at level one risky with the bane wolf around can easily be snared demolition charge up here mr rico what is he gonna do he's gonna push top i think eventually waiting for his war boss and here is the attempt stormtroopers weighing in with their hotshot lust guns now and there's a manticore strike ouch Hits those sluggers. Mr. Rico did not retreat those sluggers and he loses the squad immediately. Huge waste. This looted tank now in a bit of trouble. Inferno pistol chasing. Judgment has gone down on some infantry, not on the tank. And the Bane Wolf is chasing it. No, it isn't. It's running away from the Warboss and Inquisitor cannot finish it off. Look at the damage the Warboss is taking from those hot shots and goes down stormtroopers ahead, with assault kit absolutely owning in this game 350-225 Kadash and Devils went even in that engagement and it was a pretty easy one for Boba Fett I think the Bane Wolf is finally going to go down here's a rocks attempt Bane Wolf does go down a big one is going to hit those Imperial Guard there we go but so does the looted tank Really, really not worth it from Mr. Rico. And we have another Bane Wolf coming in, and why not cause so much havoc before? Ouch! Almost goes down immediately. Manticore strike on the top VP. Sluggers. Ouch! That's the third Slugger squad to wipe, and the last two wiped almost immediately. 350, 194. Mr. Rico completely out of it now pretty much has shooter boys and tank busters and that is it excellent excellent dominating play from Boba Fett starting out with two sentinels really confused Mr. Rico it seemed so he didn't get triple or quadruple shooter to try and deal with it just went straight to tier 2 did of course take out one of the sentinels though with the war boss but there is the victory with 351.56 Mr. Rico 
conceding. Thanks for watching guys, I'll see you next time.